Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you very much for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. And today I'm going to be continuing the Unity Editor Fundamentals. We're going to be looking at the life cycle of a game in Unity. I'm going to be covering some of the events that get executed as the game actually initializes. So we're going to be covering the Awake, the Star, the Update, and then some additional methods that get executed. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right, guys, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to list all the different events that we're going to be covering in this session. Like I was saying in the beginning of this introduction video is that we're going to be covering the life cycle of the events in Unity and the execution order. So the first thing that gets executed is going to be the awake method. Then it follows by a start. We're also going to get the update method and we're going to be I'm going to be showing you how that one gets executed. And this one is executed one time per frame, followed by a late update, which is executed right after the update, also one time per frame. We also will be using the fix update, which is basically used for physics. Then right after that, we're gonna be looking at on enable, on disable, and lastly on destroy. So these two get executed whenever you're disabling a game object or enabling a game object. If it's be between, you know, if you're doing it through the inspector or if you're doing it through code. The on destroy is gonna get, get executed right before the game object gets destroyed. And that allow us to do a lot of different things. You may wanna do something right before the, maybe the enemy gets destroyed. You might wanna use an explosion or kind of like a dead animation. So this one comes in handy anytime you're you're needing to do that in your game so there's obviously more events that i'm not going to be covering but i'm going to be putting a diagram in the description of this video that is going to list every single event that unity executes as part of the life cycle so without further ado let's go into unity and i'm going to create a new game object to demonstrate some of these events so i'm going to right click on the hierarchy create empty and this one is going to be called life cycle events I'm gonna click on add component, new script, and we're gonna create a script call the same way. So lifecycle events. Then the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open my C sharp project and I'm gonna maximize this so that we can focus on the scripting. Excellent, so every time you create a new script in Unity, by default, Unity is gonna provide you with two different events. One is gonna be the start and the other one is gonna be the update, which we listed in the readme. So the other ones that I want to cover, I'm also gonna be listing in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add the awake. I'm also gonna be adding the on enable and on disable. So this one is the on enable and I'm just gonna copy this meta and paste it in here and just clean it up. And this one's gonna be on disable. And you can see that IntelliSync is trying, to, is trying to tell me that that one is available. You can also see the on destroy as being available. So I'm just gonna type it myself. Perfect. And so we have on enable, on destroy. We have the awake start update. Let's also add the on disable. Perfect. And so we have the on enable, on disable, on destroy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add them in the same sequence that I list them in the readme so that I'm not confusing you. Perfect, so I'm gonna just move these ones and we're gonna move them down. Excellent. And the other one that I need to add is the late update. And we're also gonna be adding the fix update update excellent okay and we can remove these comments for now and we'll type in or or comments so so obviously this first one is going to be executed right when you hit play this is going to be the first one so this is going to be or you know first method executed then it's going to follow the second method executed then we're gonna get our update 
which is gonna be or third execute it excellent and then this one's gonna be our fourth method execute it and we can also do look at the fix update fifth method execute it also on enable which is going to be executed as soon as we enable or disable a game object so whenever we enable a new a game object we can just put comments and then this one whenever we disable a game object excellent and then on destroy whenever we destroy a game object and the fix update might be executed at the same time as the update to be honest i don't really remember if they happen at the same time but what you need to remember is that this one is executed for every frame so you're gonna get this one executed on every frame at least once once the same thing with this one right here and after the update so a lot of people ask me and and they also ask unity if you look at the unity documentation is when would you use the update or the late update so a lot of times you may want to do you know some calculations on the update and you want to make sure that you're doing some additional calculations on the late update so that might be you know you might be moving a character around and then you may want to move the camera right after that so if you use the camera moving on on the late update that's going to guarantee that you're doing it right after the update gets executed so that's a good example of that then fix update is if you want to do any you know physics calculations that's when you'll use the fix update for if you're using like add forces through physics or you know different type of calculations that might require you to use the physics engine then you may want to use the you will want to use the fix update the the reason for that is because if you don't use the fix update the, the calculations the simulations will look very weird i actually done it in the past where i'm using physics calculations on the update and they don't look as smooth and that's because this one is only executed once per frame where the fix update is executing is executed multiple times per, per frame so it will make it look a lot smoother and that's also what unity recommends that you do then the on enabling on disable like i was saying those are very straightforward so what i'm going to do to demonstrate some of these ones is i'm going to use debug.log so i'm going to say debug.log and then awake where it's executed and we're going to put in I'm going to do the same thing on this one. This one is the start, then the update. This one is going to get executed a lot of times. So we're going to use the console collapse to make sure that we're not seeing this one multiple times. They all get consolidated into one line. Then the late update is going to be also here. So I'm just going to change the name, just like I did on these two. And also the fix update, we're just going to copy and paste the debug the log. We're just change the method name there and then on enable I'm gonna do the same thing here and let's just copy that to this one and let's just rename the method name and lastly on destroy let's do the same thing we're just gonna copy and paste the method name excellent so now let's go into unity and see what's going to happen so what i'm going to do is i'm going to resize the console window so that we can see all the different messages i also have collapse turn on the reason why i want to do that is because if i don't then the update is going to basically going to be filling in the screen and i won't be able to see the other the other console entries so i'm going to hit play and we should see all of those so you can see that the first thing that got executed is the awake method then we also see the unenable method get, getting executed right after then we see the star getting executed fix update getting executed first and you can see that that one is executed more times so i see a total a total of eight i also see the update getting executed then the late update right after the update just like we describe it 
and also the undisable is executed and then on destroy getting executed excellent so now what i'm going to do and the reason why the on destroy is getting executed is because i hit play twice so one to play the game and then another one to basically stop the game and what that show us is that the element is actually getting executed the game object is getting destroyed at the very end and also is getting disabled so let's do that one more time this time i'm just going to hit play and i'm not gonna so you can see the the fix update getting executed a lot of times followed by the update and then the late update right after that so the other thing that i can do here without you know not, not hitting play is i can go to this game object and disable it and you're gonna see that the on disable is getting executed if I click on it one more time, we see the on enable method getting executed because I'm enabling that method. And that is one of the methods that we have listed in here, which is the on enable. When I hit play one more time, what's going to happen is the game is getting stopped, meaning that everything on the scene is going to get disposed. So if I hit play, now you see the on destroy method getting executed again. So that is really helpful because let's say that you want to you want to capture that something happens when you're you know destroying for for instance this might be a bullet if you're shooting a bullet and you want that bullet to get destroyed after maybe it hits a certain element on the screen you want to make sure that you destroy it, but you may want to do some other animations in that you know right after that happens so to do that you can use the on destroy to do that then we also saw that the fix update the update and the lay update got executed many times and that's when you're going to do so for the update that's when you want to do your game logic if you're you know make making sure that you are if this is a if this is a cube and this cube is going to basically it's going to be transitioned to the the end of the screen and let's say that you want to make sure that the calculation from going from point a to point b it's it's getting calculated so that calculation you want to do on the update let's say that once the once that cube reaches the end you want to do a camera movement that's when you'll use the lay update and in combination with some of these other methods so that's really what i wanted to show you today guys if you guys have any questions let me know i am going to be checking in this code and then you're more than welcome to check it out but make sure that you go through the diagram that i'm going to be putting in the description of this video because that's going to help you and understand what kind of events you can basically add to your game objects so that you know what to do with those events so thank you very much guys i appreciate it